Hello Everglades champions. I wish I could be doing this in person so I could see all of your beautiful, inspiring faces. However, if the last few months have taught me anything, they've taught me the importance of adaptation. Great biology concept right there. So here I am, adapting, by addressing you from Everglades National Park. Pretty fitting, I think. Today, we celebrate you. The amazing, empowering, equipping, hardworking, big picture thinking Everglades Champion Schools. You all are planting the seeds, watering and spreading the sunshine that will one day result in a lush forest of environmental stewards. I know how monumentally important your work is and I applaud every one of you. Thank you. I grew up on the edge of the Everglades, raised by a family of wildlife filmmakers. 40 years ago, my dad and mom started an educational nonprofit designed to do exactly what you all are doing. Film was their tool to teach and inspire, and to date, close to two million students have seen our presentations in auditoriums throughout South Florida. Today, I carry the torch forward to a new generation. My documentary work has taken me to some incredible, exotic places, but ultimately, I focus on my backyard the vast, diverse Everglades bioregion. As much as I am fascinated by the jungles of Costa Rica or the coral reefs of Cuba or the Maya temples of the Yucatan, Florida is my home. And what happens here impacts me directly and you. Climate change and sea level rise, invasive species and the loss of native wildlife, algal blooms, fish die-offs, and the contamination of our precious sources of fresh water. These are problems that are not unique to Florida, but they are happening here where we feel them the most. If you wanna change the world, start with your backyard. It's that simple. The Everglades Foundation, as well as you and I, understand that by equipping ourselves and our youth to understand and tackle environmental issues locally, we are accumulating knowledge that can be translated and transmitted globally. Science is science, no matter which county, country, or continent you live in. And inspiration can spread like orchid seeds in the wind. So what inspires me? Well, orchids and bromeliads blossoming in a cypress stone. A summer storm over the prairie. Sharks and crocodiles clear, clean, fresh water. I'm also inspired by the people who are working to protect these things that I love and encouraging their neighbors to do the same. And I'm inspired to pass this legacy on to my daughter, Scout. Hey Scout, can you show us what you found on the trail? What are you gonna do with that? I found it and it was trash. Are you gonna recycle it? Yes. All right, good job, high five. Good job. Put that in your pocket, please. Okay. Add a girl. Scout reminds me of me. She has red hair and she loves exploring. She also loves ducks and her pet gecko. And she loves the Everglades. So Everglades Champion Schools, give yourselves a pat on the back because if we all work together and keep planting those seeds, Scout and thousands upon thousands of kids throughout our beautiful state can look forward to cleaner water, thriving wildlife, and a healthier Everglades, a healthier planet for generations to come. <laughs>